Hi folks, my name is Simona. We are here for Steamworks Season 2. This season is vaguely related to renewable energy. You'll see what I mean over the next couple episodes. But today we're going to be building an anemometer. <laughs> an anemometer is a device used to measure wind speed. Thank you for coming. <laughs> So my vision is that we're going to start with our paper cup and we're going to cut it in half, like right along there, the long way. So we're going to end up with two half cups. That's a really good cup. I promise I have a, um, all right, let's start over. Wow, I'm really glad this is all on camera. All right, we're doing great. We have half a cup. We're going to stack the other half of the cup above it like kind of like that. So that's the bottom of the cup and then it gets bigger up here. But we're gonna glue them together right along the lip of the cup, right along there. Um, and so we're gonna end up with a shape that's kind of like this. And it's gonna be curved on the outside, like right along there, it's gonna be curved. So hopefully this will catch a ton of wind. We're gonna make four of these and we're gonna attach them to an axis, such that each one has a cup facing outwards, like that. And then we're going to put an axis right along the middle, and hopefully this will spin, and it'll measure our wind speed. I'm gonna cut right along here. There we go. So those are two halves of my cup. I'm going to do this four more times, and then we're st we'll start gluing. The next thing we're going to do is actually go get a marker, because we want one of our cups, one of the blades on our wind turbine, to be of a different color. And that's so that every rotation, we'll see the flash of color go by, and we'll know that that's one rotation of the whole fan. Yeah? yeah? All right, let's do purple. That's definitely pink. All right, now that we've designated one cup as our marker cup, let's head over to our gluing station and I'll start gluing all these together. So our goal here is to glue these two together, just like this, the way we saw in the sketches. Well, that turned out pretty well. I'll leave this here to dry real quick and then I'll do the outside later. Number two. So I'll clean up a bit as those dry and then we'll head back over to that table. Do we really need B-roll of me throwing stuff out? <laughs> all right, we're back. All of my turbine blades have dried. They're hot glued. You can see they're looking pretty snazzy. Now I have to tape and glue my dowels to each individual turbine blade. We have duct tape in pretty much every color of the rainbow here at Flux, which is maybe the best part of working here and I'm gonna attach every single cup with a piece of tape, just like that. I've got eight dowels in total because I'm gonna do the top and bottom of every single turbine blade. So let's do this. I'm gonna do it in the same direction for every blade. So I'm gonna turn each blade upside down and then I'm gonna put two dowels to the right, this one, because otherwise the blades would all be pointing in different directions. We want them all to be facing the same way so that when the wind blows, it'll catch every single blade of the turbine. Alrighty, so we have four turbine blades. Each of them is attached to two dowels. We're about to glue all of these turbine blades to my bendy straw. And my bendy straw is gonna act as the axle. So let's head over to my hot glue station and let's see if I can figure this out. The straw is just long enough. I'm gonna start by gluing the straw really carefully to both of these dowels. So I'm gonna put a drop of glue right there and a drop of glue right there. You gotta be careful when you hot glue straws, because straws actually melt. So I got my first turbine attached to the straw, just like that. I'm gonna start adding the second one right now. So let's glue these next two in place. 
The last thing I want to do is just to make sure they're extra sturdy, I'm going to get a little piece of cardboard to connect on the top and on the bottom. That was a little weird, but thank you. I need my cardboard to be like about two inches, two by two inches, two and a half. Uh -oh. The one on the top doesn't need a hole, but the one on the bottom does need to have a hole right in the middle because we want our dowel running through the straw. This part doesn't need to be super precise because it's not mathematical or physics related. It's just about making sure our turbine is extra strong and sturdy. Ooh, way too much glue. Nice. And let's get that right on there. Yeah, I made a real mess here. It happens to the best of us. And I'm just gonna hold this in place until it dries. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the bottom. Hopefully putting the glue on the cardboard will cause a little bit less of a mess. So this dried really well. I added a couple of binder clips in just a few places so that it stays together. Extra strong, probably don't need them, but just in case. The last detail of our wind turbine is that we need the dowel that this whole thing will rotate around. So I picked this dowel that is smaller than the straw because obviously we want it to fit in the straw and it's got a pointy top and hopefully that will minimize any friction happening inside this straw. This looks pretty good. So here's our finalized wind turbine. It looks great. Let's head outside and take it for a spin. Wow, what a trip. So as you see, one of my turbine blades is pink. So every time this pink blade goes past my head, that's one rotation. You can use that to calculate how many rotations happen per minute and we can use the distance between this point and the middle of my turbine to calculate the radius and the circumference of this entire cycle. So with time and distance, we can calculate the speed of the wind. This is what I'm talking about, <laughs> kind of. Thanks for joining on, on this week's, thanks for joining us. <laughs> thanks for joining us on this week's episode of Steamworks. We built an anemometer together. Next week, we'll be building something else that's vaguely related to renewable energy. And I look forward to seeing you then. Bye-bye.